Hello friends, Fanta here, you're watching FantaVision, and today we're discussing some actually really good news that I didn't think we'd hear for a very long time. Before we get in that news, of course, hit that like button, helps a lot. Also, today I'm drinking the 1985, it's not going to focus, from New Belgium. It is a mango IPA, it's delicious, and bought on accident. So the good news is that Walmart actually was one of the first places to announce that they were going to be closed on Thanksgiving. And this is a big shock because Walmart, I believe, was the one that pushed Black Friday originally to be on Thanksgiving. And everybody just followed suit because that's what happens. And that's what's happening again, but this time in a good way. Now, Black Friday is going to actually be on a Black Friday for Target as well. Target is going to be closed on Thanksgiving. This is great. This is this is such good news. I'm very happy for everyone that works there. I remember working at Walmart on Thanksgiving and GameStop on Thanksgiving. It just sucked because you don't really get to enjoy that time with your family. You don't get to enjoy that downtime. You don't get that needed day off because you know everyone else. It's just it's like an added pain. It's an added salt in the wound because you know everybody else out there that doesn't have to work retail is with their families or just relaxing or in a turkey coma while you're working some ungodly hour or you're working just throughout the entire day itself. You're not even able to have dinner with your family because that's when you're working. I'm really glad to see them go back to what it was previously. Now, it's a little frustrating. There's a little bit you know, there's always a sour note to this good news. There's always some thing that I see, and I'm wearing the tie because I wanted to, but also because I'm thinking from a corporate perspective here. I'm putting on the tie, I'm slipping into their shoes, and thinking about why they might be doing this. They, they're they doing this because, of course, the COVID pandemic. They're doing this because morale is probably very low. Everyone is having to wear masks all the time. It's already an uncomfortable time for everybody, and... They want to reap in the rewards of fixing their reputation a little bit and also because it's just, I don't think there's going to be a whole lot of traffic on Thanksgiving anyway. But if we take off this tie and think of it from just a person that hasn't worked in retail and doesn't know these companies, it looks like a phenomenal thing. And it really is a phenomenal thing. I'm glad we're going back to how it used to be. But that's the thing. That's how it used to be. I mean, retail workers used to be able to get Thanksgiving off. That was already a thing. But then they made Black Friday Thanksgiving and ruined all of that. And the thing that a lot of people have on their minds, is this going to last? Is this going to be the new way of doing things? I hope so. I really do. I want to have optimism. And you know what? I think it will hold on for next year as well. And then it will slowly creep back into Thanksgiving again. Because that's, if you don't remember how it happened, how it became Thanksgiving to begin with, it's because Black Friday started at the normal hours of when a store opened, everybody flooded in. Then they pushed it a little bit earlier, it was like 5 a.m. Then they pushed it even earlier, and it was like midnight, and then Thanksgiving Day. So we'll see if that trend happens again, but as they say, History repeats itself, and I think it's going to again. I think that's exactly what's going to happen. I think we're going to see next year Black Friday is going to be at 5 a.m. I don't know what the Black Friday times are for Walmart yet, and I don't know how they're going to handle that. I think it's going to slowly creep in. I think it's going to be, you know, normal working days for Walmart and Target, and I think other stores are going to follow suit. I think Best Buy is going to follow suit. I think we're going to see GameStop follow suit because they all follow the biggest corporation, which is Walmart. And because Target also joined, there's going to be that pressure from all the other companies to do it. And the longer they take to change that, it's going to look worse. Like every day is just whittling away at their reputation until they change it. Okay, we're also going to give all of our employees Thanksgiving off. I mean, they're really not going to lose any money by doing this. I mean, Black Friday is already a three-day affair. I mean, it was four before, now it's three. Not a huge difference, honestly. And what they've been doing also in the creep-up was online sales started well before the stores did. So I think we're going to see that again this year. I think we're going to see all the deals online on Thanksgiving Day, but then 
on actual Black Friday, they're going to be doing the normal type thing. Let's quickly give a shout out to all the stores that have followed suit. Now, the thing about these other stores is they're not as big of a deal. They were never the big draws for Black Friday. They were definitely things that people were interested in, but they weren't the main stores that people really cared about. So let's take a look at just some of the major ones from this list. So out of the stores on this list, I'm thinking of Costco. That's a big one to be closed. That's great. Now, I don't know, know if they normally do this, but the fact that they're closed, that's just great. Guitar Center, that's another place that always advertises their Black Fridays. So it's great that, again, they're having Thanksgiving off. We get the pet places. Sportsman's Warehouse, I know, was a place that was open on Thanksgiving before. And those are the main ones because the rest of the places on here, I mean, Pier 1's almost dead anyway. Neiman Marcus, I mean, that's like a rich place, right? I mean, I don't think people are really waiting for Black Friday there. Home Depot, a lot of these places, it's like, yeah, that's great that they have it closed on Thanksgiving, but they should have never been open to begin with. So we've quickly covered which stores are going to be closed, why that's a great thing, why I think it's going to hold for about a year or two, and what is up with the violent people about not wearing masks? Like, I get it. I, I get that there's a spectrum of, of people out there. There's the people that are violently, like, you wear a mask or I'll beat you. And then there's the people that I'll beat you if you make me wear a mask. And those, of course, are both extremes of stupid. And I don't understand either extreme, but that one over there where it's just a person doing their job saying, hey, this is store policy. It comes back to the entitled customer thing. The customer is always right. Do you remember that video I made? Hey, this is a perfect example of exactly that. People getting violent, shooting people in some cases, and over wearing a mask for 20 minutes. What is what is wrong with you? I feel like the, the mental fortitude and IQ of our nation has dropped like a rock over these years, and it's ridiculous. Even if you don't believe that the masks are doing anything, even if you don't like wearing them, just wear it to go to the store and then take it off right as you get back outside. It's so simple, it's so easy. But apparently they're so afraid of people that they don't wanna put their employees in harm's way. And it's just so sad to me that that's where we're at. That is where we're at in our society, that we can't do such a simple thing without throwing a fit like a child. And I said, I've said over and over and over that this behavior is because people are allowed to push retail employees around. People are allowed to push other people around if they feel that they're below them. And retail, restaurants, all of these different places, fast food, all of these areas where you are doing work with the general public, they look down on you like they're better than you. And because of that, they feel like it's okay to shout and physically harm these other people because they don't see them as people anymore. They're just retail workers. They're just workers at that point. They're just a, they're part of the corporate arm because they've got that badge. Even though they're making minimum wage, they're just trying to feed their families and themselves. It's okay to treat them like that in their mind. I don't understand it. Even though they know that that behavior is not acceptable at their own workplace, for some reason it is when they're in somebody else's because that's where you're at. When you're in a store, you're in somebody else's workplace and treating any human being like that is despicable. But my main takeaway here is that I really am happy that corporations are doing this. I'm really glad that they are giving their employees a break because they definitely need it in this time of just constant stress. I mean, if you look at social media, it's just constantly riots, political talk and COVID talk and all this other stuff. I hope that Thanksgiving can be a day for people to just relax, just mellow out. Hopefully nothing happens that day. You have no worries. People can just have a break from life for a day. Because that's what Thanksgiving used to be for me. Thanksgiving used to be a day of family, eating tons of food, and then passing out. And it was great. I loved it. It was wonderful. So I'm hoping that that tradition returns for everybody. Because if out of all the people out there that have to work during that day and have to deal with all the stuff that's going on, up in the tippity top realm of stress are the people that are working in the service industry. And I hope that they all get to actually relax for once. Unfortunately, when it comes to medical, I mean, all the jobs in the medical field, it's not gonna be a relaxing day. 
people don't just stop getting sick. They don't all get better for just that day and they all get to go home and relax with their families. And fortunately, all of the emergency people and all the people working in hospitals and all of that, they're all going to be working that day. So thanks for watching, everyone. Comment down below whether or not you think that this is going to last. If you think that they're just going to completely turn around next year and make it Thanksgiving again, or if you think they're just going to keep it going for a little bit longer, or this could be the new norm. I don't know. Like the video if you guys liked it. Subscribe for more content. And as always, have a fantastic day. See you guys. It pains me to say this, but this is a really good beer. I'm, I'm sad that New Belgium got bought out by a bigger corporation because it really, it really does feel nice supporting a company that was once owned by employees. It was an employee-owned company, and they decided to sell out to the highest bidder, and now it's owned by, I think, Kieran. I don't know, some, some massive corporation that also has a very sketchy past, but it's a IPA with mango flavor and spice, which... I guess we didn't know when we bought this because it just says 1985 IPA. It doesn't say mango anywhere on the can. Also, I'll be streaming tonight, so definitely come on by to the stream. I hope to see you all there. It's a blast every single time. I've been playing Majora's Mask. I got my hat down there. I'd grab it, but the mic's in the way. And it's been a ton of fun. It really has been. I've had plenty of people in the chat telling me where to go, what to do for the side quest, because I've never played the game before. So... Playing the game for the first time, it's just, it started out as a really frustrating experience to becoming like, okay, I'm starting to get the game now, and it's actually a lot of fun, and it's a really unique experience, and it is, it's really different from all the other Legend of Zelda games, so, come on by, hope to see you there.